Right guys, we're back. We've got a Fusion Strike booster box. This is the second one we've done. Um, we did one last week, which we got five pulls out of the full box, which was um, very um, disappointing to say the least. I mean, I was a bit taken back by the fact you can get five pulls in a box. And to be honest, when I say five pulls, there were four Vs and there was one um, Ultra Rare, which, sorry, there were one full art, which to be honest, it's not really enough in in a booster box for me that um but we've got like i said we've got another we've got this one to open then we've got another one for next week to open um i'm hoping for more in this booster box um i think eight pulls is about right to be fair if you get eight pulls you can't you can't really be upset to be honest um there's all the packs so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, leaving six behind, that's correct. Move that away. So these are the uh, 12 packs going to open today. Um, yeah, I was a bit taken back. I didn't realise the pull rates were that bad in this set. Um, hopefully, um, we can do better today. So, right, let's just get into it. Um, so this is the first pack. I'll pull you down a bit closer. Uh, so we've got a new artwork pack. As much as I like opening these packs, I'd probably just say that if you've got a favourite card in this set, for how much it costs, you might as well just go and buy your favourite card and just leave it at that. Um, but we'll see. It might change this week, so my opinion might change come Friday. Well, come the final 12 packs of this uh, video. So let's see. So we've got a Fighting Energy, a Dub Wool. We've got a Spongy Gloves, a Frost Moth, Growlithe, Phalanx, Morpeko, Smeagol, Quillfish, Sea Waddle, and a Glaring Obstagoon. So like I said, that's, again, that's a good pack. Um, oh, it's supposed to be a good pack, and we've got um, just a holo. So, I mean, do you class hollows as good packs? I mean, to be honest, the hollows do look pretty good in this set. They are very, um, they do look pretty good and clean. You know, they are getting a lot better, I guess. Um, but I still don't class them as a pull. Um, right, so we've got um, Fire Energy, Beware, Skaters Park, Marsh Top, Bow Toy, Glaring Casola, Quillfish, Vulpix, Chansey, which was stuck to the other one, Skaters Park, and Golem. So that I'll leave them to the side. I always pull the rares out. I don't know why, but I always keep the rares separate. Um, the next pack is a bottom artwork. Let me get into this. That's a code card. Right, so we've got a Psychic Energy. We've got a cross switcher. We've got a crop now. Got an extra drill, which is cool. Love playing with my extra drill on Pokemon Go. That's a great Pokemon. Got Pan Sage. Got Wooloo. Got Pancham. Got Glaring Daramaka. Got an Indida. Got a Dunsparce. And we've pulled Shauna, which is a very nice card. So that's um, a decent pull, to be honest, for the first. Um, uh, well, what was that? First four packs? No, first three packs, and we pulled a um, a rare. Just let me um, check something here. I just wanted to see how much um, this card goes for. As in, say, I'm not bothered how much it goes for in particular because I need it for my set. I'm just meaning that. Right, so that is. Oh, no, it's not. It's not that one. It's a different one. There's a there's a Shauna promo card there which goes for a hell of a lot, which is like twenty five quid. So it's not that one. This Shauna card is a full art. So let's see. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, you're looking at probably about ten pound for that. So that's not a bad card. Um, we've got a Gengar artwork pack now.
We just had, I got quite happy with the um, Bolton uh, card the other day, and then when I checked it, we were worth like about five pounds, so it were quite common. Um, got Steel Energy, got Dark Cry, got a Croc now, got Elsa Sparkle, got an Onyx, got a Jigglypuff, got a Durant, got a Pansier, got a Minim, got Turgid Maru, and got a Blisser. That's pretty cool. Next pack, we've got a new artwork. That's Kokad. Right, so we've got a Water Energy, got a Grap Locked, got a Diggers Bear, got a Sydney, got a Aracuda, got a Snubble, got a Geodude. Got a Sizzlipede, got a Klefke, got a Staryu Reverse, and a Ver uh, Verizian, which, to be honest, I didn't even know um, that was in there. I can't think it's called now. It's some Swords, Swords of Justice, or Swords. I can't think what their class is, them ones. But um, yeah, so I've got a Ver Verizian as the rare, and got a Staryu as the Reverse. Next part, we've got a Genesect. The Genesect artwork, code card. I did say on the last video I was going to show you my um, my folder, but then I thought, what's the point? Because to be honest, the folder's only actually got uh, two special cards in other than the main set, which is not really that interesting. From, you know what I mean? It's just basic cards, really. Uh, got a Dark Energy, got a Primeape, got a Zerud, got a Delcate, got a Mudkip, got a Sandshrew, got a Kufant. Got an Impidimp, got a Snom, got a Maractus, and got a Pikachu V. There we go. A bit more heat in this pack, or this box, should I say. So that's two cool cards now we've got. Also got the Maractus, which is a rare reverse, which is decent. So we'll take that one. Now we've got a Bolton Dart work. See, that's all you ask when you're opening packs. You just want pulls. You know what I mean? If you're going to open 12 packs, you want at least two or three pulls. Right, so we've got a Grass Energy, or Leaf Energy, whichever you call it. Dunsparce, Dancer, Pangoro, Grubbin, Mankey, Krogunk, Pansir, Gume, got Pancham Reverse, and a Yveltal. There's two white Veltals in the set. What do they call that Pokemon? The Flying Bacon or something like that? Because it looks like bacon. Or is that just on Pokemon Go? I'm not, not sure, to be honest. Might just be on Pokemon Go. It looks like bacon. All right, next pack. Right, so we've got a Lightning Energy, or Electric, we've got Metapod, Togedemaru, got Skullboy, got Meowth, got Marrow, got Helioptile, got Wooloo, got Gossifleur, got Helioptile again, and got a Landorus. It's a hollow rare. Like I say, the hollows are pretty decent in this set. They're, they're very clean. They seem better printed in this set, the hollows, than in past sets for me, to be honest. Um, I'm still not a fan of getting hollows, but there you go. Right, so we've got another pack of cards, and this one's the um, new artwork, so let me get into this. So that is a code card. So we've got a Fighting Energy, a Power Tablet, Galarian Dad Manitan, Got Electric, Caterpie, Drillba, Shinx, Bunnery, Baskelin, got a Deoxy, or Deoxys, got a Gobice. So the Deoxys is quite good, like I said, that's another hollow rare, so always good to get them hollow rares, even though in the Battle Style set, when it came to the end, it wasn't hollow rares or missing, it were actually um, common. Uh, hollows, which are just never common 
reverse hollows, which I never got. It was weird, to be fair. You'd have thought they'd be easy to get. And they were, they were quite the opposite. I got all the rare ones, but I didn't have the um, the basic ones. So we've got Fire Energy, got Copper Jar, got Zoroark, got Semi Poor, got Mopeko, got a Skarmory, got a Shelmet, got a Plusso, got Moona, got a Bug Catcher, and we've got a Latias, which is um, a rare, and the Latias is not rare, which is also very strange. Right, so we've got a Bolton pack now. That's Kokad. Do the pack trip, far to the back. So we've got a Psychic Energy, a Luxio, a Metapod, a Persian, a Bunnery, a Clobopus, a Tynamo, a Zeroa, Shelda, a Tynamo Reverse, and a Latias. Oh, that is a rare as well. I didn't think it was rare, that one. Right, so I was wrong there, but it's proven me wrong straight away, so that's not a bad thing. Um, right, so the last pack is Gengar artwork. That's Kokad. So we've got a Steel Energy, a Puka Muku. A Skull Girl, a Chili Cillin and Cress, a Grubbin, a Rotom, a Smeargul, a Kavana, a Clam Pearl, got a Marsh Top Reverse and an AK9. So that's pretty cool getting the Marsh Top. Anyone like I say who just played Pokemon Go know how powerful um, the Swampert is. Right, so that's all the packs for today. If you enjoyed that, drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see the other uh, 24 packs in this booster box. The two pulls today were Shauna and Pikachu V, which both very nice cards and need them both, so that makes it even better, to be honest. Um, and we've got 24 packs left to this booster box, so hopefully, if it's the same sort of pull rate, we might end up with six in this booster box. Um, six or more. I'm wanting eight, really, but if we get six, I guess, I suppose that's better than the last one. But yeah, thanks for watching anyway, guys. See you later.